Hi everybody, this is Catherine, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in the new Marvel Avenger game. So let's start with Windows. First of all, write game mode in your search bar. Make sure that your game mode is at off. Make sure also that your Xbox game bar is at off. And also, if you're using like the Discord overlay, uh, Nvidia overlay, just like remove all those overlay. It's causing like stuttering in many games, so just don't use them. Uh, capture, make sure that background recording is at off, recorded audio is at off, and uh, that's about it. Also, if you have the latest version of your driver and the latest version of Windows, uh, right GPU, click graphic settings. Uh, you will have the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling here. Make sure that it's at on and restart your PC if it was not at on. I'm not too sure if it's working on AMD now. I know Nvidia, you should not have any issue if, if you have the latest driver and uh, the latest um, Windows. I know AMD did something, but I heard like it's not working properly, so not too sure about it. Uh, so you did that. Also, make sure that you have the latest driver. Right now, they don't have any special driver for Marvel Adventure. I'm pretty sure Nvidia will uh, launch something because honestly, the game is it's a bit weird right now. It's not well optimized. I'm getting like crazy random drop. Uh, and also, uh, my Nvidia card seems to have an uh, issue with the AMD FX uh, fidelity, I think, the sharpening thing. So um, yeah. Probably NVIDIA will uh, fix this with some drivers. So now let's go inside of the game. So inside of the game, first of all, I want to mention the game right now. It's really weird. It's always using my f my video card at like full capacity. That's okay. No issue with that. My temp are a bit high. Normally when I play a game, I'm, I'm at 99% per over there and I'm at like 62, 63 degree. And I even hear my fan uh, running, so something is weird with this game, I don't know why. It's taking a lot of resources on my GPU. And I have also issue to stream with my encoder with my video card. So it's taking a lot of resources on my GPU, not too sure why. And sometimes it's even randomly, you're just in the menu and you hear like your fan running like crazy. So something is wrong with that if you have like an amd card maybe just write me in your uh, the comment youtube section post me like if you have issue with your degrees and utilization of your video card maybe it's an nvidia thing so let's go with setting first of all display so make sure that your resolution match with your monitor make sure that you're playing full screen really important at on and if you want to uh use the refresh rate manually over there you need to use the exclusive full screen option so if you put this one at on now you will uh, you can change your refresh rate so me i'm using the 144 hertz if you have more just go higher if you have less go with your 60 vsync i'm playing at off ntl easing i'm using taa i don't like this sma in this game and for sure, if you have like an integrated video card or a really like old computer, old video card, uh, remove the anti-aliasing, but you will lose your image quality. Uh, this is the thing that I was talking about, the AMD Fidelity. I'm putting in that up right now. I'm getting weird artifact with my uh, video card and also random drops with it. It's a bit weird. So I'm not too sure if it's like a driver thing. I'm going to wait on NVIDIA. Uh, maybe you can use that even with an NVIDIA card. Uh, dynamic resolution, make sure that it's at off. Graphic. So first of all, screen space reflection, really important. Put this one at off. You will gain 3% boost in your FPS. Motion blur, I'm putting this one at off. They're saying uh, disable, disabling improved GPU performance. I didn't see any improvement. It's just because I don't like the motion blur effect in all the games. So that's why I'm putting it off. But honestly, you're not getting any boost with that. Uh, Bloom, you're getting like 2% over there, so you can put this one at off, not a huge deal in this game, it will not really change your uh, image quality. Volumetric light lighting, this one is, is kind of important, I'm getting like 4% in some like place in the game, so uh, put this one at off. Ambient occlusion, huge improvement over there, 6% if you put this one at off, so really important. Level of detail, I'm using medium, they didn't see any uh, difference between low and medium, but medium and I have a huge difference in my FPS, like 3%, so that's why I'm using medium over there. Shadow quality, this is pretty much the uh, the main setting that will give you more FPS. If I compare very high to off, it's like a difference between like 12 to 15% in my FPS. So honestly, if you're near your 60, just start with shadow quality, put this one at like whatever, 
uh, low or off and you will probably see a huge impact in your FPS. Uh, screen space contact shadow, this one also, I feel like something is wrong with shadow in this game because you're gaining a huge amount of FPS when you remove stuff like that. So when I put this one at off, I'm getting another 4%. Tessellation, I didn't see any improvement over there, so on and off it's like 1%, but Tessellation, uh, if I look at the past old video card, uh, sometimes I have issue with Tessellation, and also old AMD video card sometimes, uh, like if you have like a 280X, something like that, uh, they kind of struggle with Tessellation, so definitely do a test, look at your FPS and measure it. Particle light, uh, Honestly, uh, you don't have a lot of options, I don't know why, but I, I have like a, some weird like drop FPS stuttering when I play at high, so that's why I'm putting this one at medium. You're not getting like more FPS, but your game is a lot stable, stabler with uh, medium. Depth of feel, uh, I'm putting this one at off. This, this is more like... Um, I don't like the depth of feel. I feel like it's, it's for like console, but when you focus on one place, everything else is kind of blurry with depth of feel. When you put it at off, everything is clean in your image. So that's why I'm using uh, off over there. Texture filtering, if you have like a brand new video card or something recent, like the past two years, 8X, 16X, without any, any problem. If you have like an old video card, like four years, five years, you can go 4X. And if you have like really, really old video card or an integrated video card, Go with Trillion here. Texture quality, this is really depend on your VRAM. So uh, if you want to use the Ultra, by the way, you need to download the uh, eye texture pack from Steam. Uh, so this is where you can unlock it. But uh, if you have like 4 gig and more, you can play at Ultra. 3 gig at high, 2 gig at medium, and less than 2 gig, go with low. Lens flare, I'm putting this one at off. I'm um, getting a bit of improvement, like 2 to 3%, and also my uh, FPS, I feel like they were more stable with the lens flare at off. And the screen effect I'm putting at also at off, not any improvement in your FPS, but uh, a bit stable, uh, a little bit more stable with my FPS, so you don't getting like some random dirt in your camera, rain effect and stuff like that. And I feel like when I was, uh, I was getting that, I was like losing 8 to 10 FPS sometimes randomly, so that's why I'm putting this one at off. So that's about it guys for the guide, if you have any questions, just come in in YouTube section, post me your rig, CPU, GPU and RAM, I will try to help you the best that I can and also uh, talk to me about your GPU if you can give me some like temp and normally your normal temp when you're playing a game I feel like something is wrong with the game so that's about it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel peace